once we get this part done, the next step is really gonna be nice. Good morning, Spots. Good morning, Modern Setters. This morning, we're gonna be working on the composting toilet part. Oh, here comes Mrs. Pigs. How are them apples? Turn them into bacon. We're gonna be working on the composting toilet part of the outhouse. Grab what we're gonna need. Yesterday we got a lot done to the outhouse. If you didn't have a chance to see that video, I'll link it right here. Still trying to work in some tight quarters here. But what we're doing at this point is installing the seat. We went out last night and we bought a new toilet seat cover. Now we need to figure out where to make the hole. That's very important. Oh, look at that. I don't know if I've ever had anybody watching me on camera before in my bathroom. It's a little odd trying to figure out the best way to figure out the back. Let's just do this. Five and eight to the edge. All right, now we can do this. We're gonna line up our marks on the side. Pencil mark. I had a few comments lately about we're building a lot of projects right now. We are. We have the hand hewn farm three day hog harvesting class coming up. We gotta get ready for that. And this winter time we'll be doing a lot more projects too because we're in northern New Hampshire. The weather gets cold. There's not much to do with the animals. You can't grow your garden. So we're doing cooking and project videos. So we hope you like them. Awesome. Nice. That's right. Awesome. Awesome. Once we get this part done, the next step is really going to be nice. Now a jigsaw is definitely a must have on the modern homestead. I'll leave a link in the description down below to the DeWalt one. The thing with tools is invest in good ones. They're not going to be top of the line, but just don't buy the bottom of the line junk. You'll regret it and you'll be buying another one before you know it. Alright, the next step is even better. It's going to be a game changer right here. Let's get it going. Switch some tools out. Got our orbital sander. Another must have on the modern homestead if you're doing any projects. We have a DeWalt. I'm not, I'm not saying DeWalt is the only tool to have. I've had really good luck with the DeWalt stuff I've had. I had really good luck with the Milwaukee. Whatever tool you want to buy, just buy a middle of the line one. You don't need a top end one. We're using 180 grit sandpaper. This next step is very important. Let's remove my boards for a minute. Alright. Where I my boards are meeting the joint, I'm gonna put a piece 
of masking tape or duct tape, whatever you have under that joint. This will all make sense in a few minutes. This one's going next like so. So I'm gonna put some tape over here. side of them too. Set our last board in place. <clears throat> now that we have them positioned where we want them, let's put some screws in there and screw them in place. of our hole. Just take my bucket out. I'm gonna do the same thing to the front lip. I usually don't do stuff like this, but it just popped into my head. We've had a pretty crazy year this year, so I'm going to take a 2017 penny and stick that there. We're going to be working with Stormy Cromer. We just got some stuff in the mail from them. We'll be talking about that pretty soon. But they sent a bunch of stickers. So let's stick that right here. We had Justin Rhodes and the family from the Great American Farm Tour stop over. So let's stick that one right there. Why not, right? Where do we want to stick the pennies? That we can see them the best. Now that we're all done being sentimental, let's do the next part. They call this bar top risen. I'll leave a link to this in the description below too. We have this left over for some other projects. What you do is you mix it 50-50. in the cup, it's a two part solution. That's the risen, and this is the activator. Thought of this yesterday and I said, you know what? It'll make it so much easier to clean. We're not gonna be around this afternoon to get the bubbles out, but we can pour it on, let it harden up, and check it out when we come back this afternoon. Hoping the risen doesn't mess with the stickers. If you hear that chomping, it's not me. It's the pigs eating apples, converting them into pasture-raised bacon. Thank you, girls. Let's pour it on and see what happens. Mix up another batch while this levels out. All right, let's kind of move it around a little bit, help it flow. The first project I really ever built was a bar that I, for an apartment I was renting. And I used this stuff for the first time and <laughs> that was quite the story. The first project I ever really built on my own. Wish I had pictures of it. I was so proud of it at the time, and now I, I've seen it somewhere, and I just laugh and chuckle, and I'm like, what the heck, that thing was a piece of garbage. And that's how you learn. You just start by doing. I might look back one day and say, look at this piece of garbage outhouse, but I learned so much doing it. That's all that counts. Just want to work the stuff and make sure we get it in every little nook and cranny and get the whole thing sealed. That looks pretty cool, I must say so myself. That sticker's starting to come 
unglued a little bit, but it'll stay in there. Let's try this. I was able to find another 2017 penny. Stick that one in that corner. And I was able to find one for Olivia's year. Now let's just hope this stuff sets up soon. Good afternoon, modern steaders. Let's go check and see how the toilet seat base turned out with the bar top on it. I just got home from work. I don't know what it looks like either. Let's see it together. Ready? Oh! We got some bubbles. A little bubbly than I would like, but... Oh well. That'll make it easier to clean at least. The front edge is all covered. We took a chance by doing it before we left for work, but... We could always sand it out and re-pour a very thin layer on it if we want. Oh man, look, we got some flies! One fly, two fly. Let's get the toilet seat on here now. All in all, I am very happy with the overall turnout of that. We have some pennies in there with the date, Olivia's birthday, some dimes holding down that sticker to commemorate working with Stormy Cromer this year. And then we had a Great American Farm Tour sticker, because they were here. So why not remember this year with all the crazy stuff that's been going on? My way home today, it said it was 92 degrees out. That's crazy. Here it is, the end of September in northern New Hampshire. 92 degrees. Whew. It's just crazy. Tomorrow's supposed to be another warm one. We're working on the sink for in here. That's going to go in this area. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it. It's really helping the channel grow. And share it with your friends who want to learn how to build their own composting outhouse or composting toilet. You never know when you might need one. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. What are you doing?